So over the last month or so, we've done a lot of talking about doing fresh windows installs. Uh, we did a video on how to prepare to do a either clean install or a reset, how to prepare your OS drive for migrating it over somewhere. Today, I think it's a good idea for us to just talk about which options you have for doing a clean reinstall or reset of Windows. So what do I mean by a clean install, fresh install, or a reset? Basically, this is like doing a factory reset on your phone. You are cleaning all files from your computer and basically reinstalling the OS so that it's fresh, it's new, any kind of issues that it's built up over time should be gone in terms of the data and the storage portions. It's not gonna fix anything that's wrong with hardware if there's an issue with your hardware, but if there's something wrong on the driver side or some kind of program causing issues, this will usually help fix it. So there are multiple reasons why you may wanna start fresh. Either you wanna clean up an issue that's been happening, uh, whether that's, again, driver or software related. You want to just clean things up and kind of start fresh, do a little bit of cleaning, which is always a great idea. I usually do this every one or two years. Or you're looking to get rid of your computer and you want to get rid of all your personal data. Now, I would usually strongly suggest you either pick up a new small drive, extremely cheap, and flip that in, install Windows on it, and give it to somebody. Um, instead of selling your computer with the drive in it. A lot of people with desktops don't even sell them with a drive inside. Um, they'll sell them with everything but the drives. With laptops, if you're able to get it open, it's a lot easier. And the reason I'm saying this is because no matter what, if you clean a drive, if you delete all the data and all that kind of stuff, it is possible for people to reclaim some of that data. Uh, recovery is an option a lot of the times and it may not be complete but there will still be data on there. So if you are worried about that, just keep that in mind. Now in the past, doing this was a little bit more complicated. You would have to always do what's called a clean reinstall or a fresh install, where you would use a boot media. Usually back then it was a CD or a DVD, um, or even before that it would have been like a floppy drive. And you would basically go through the process of installing Windows again onto the same drive that you had Windows on. But Microsoft has made this easier recently. And by recently, I mean within Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm not sure if it was an option on Windows 8, but being able to reset your PC or being able to keep a bunch of files that were on your OS drive in its own dr folder, which I kind of talked about in a previous video, the whole Windows old folder. When doing a fresh Windows install, if it notices that there's a Windows install on the drive you're installing on, is are awesome features. It makes things a lot easier for people. It makes people be a lot less afraid of doing a fresh Windows install. Um, and we're gonna walk through the two major routes, um, either resetting or doing a complete reinstall. So resetting is extremely easy. No matter what version you're on, I'm on Windows 11 here, but if you're on Windows 10, it's basically the exact same thing. If you go ahead and hit your start menu and you type reset, you should get an option called reset this PC. You go ahead and do that. You'll see the option reset this PC. It'll give you two options. It'll tell you to keep my files or it'll tell you to remove everything. I highly suggest you remove everything. If you're resetting your PC, this is always going to be the best way to do this. Um, keeping the files is okay, but I would prefer moving those files off to another drive or an external hard drive and doing a complete clean of the drive. Now, sometimes reset this PC won't work. There are a number of issues that may come up when you try to do it, some error messages. If that's the case, you are gonna have to use some kind of boot media. So as I mentioned, there are two paths to doing a fresh install of Windows. You can either use the Windows Media Creation Tool or you can use Rufus and the ISO. Either way, you're gonna end up going to Microsoft's website. You either go to the Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let's go and show the Windows 10 one real quick. Very similar. So you can go ahead and you can download the installation uh, media create tool. And what that does is it's going to turn a USB, eight gig minimum, into a Windows boot drive, basically. And that's gonna go ahead and have your installer on it. When you restart your computer, you're gonna go ahead and select that as your boot drive. 
So you can also go ahead and use Rufus. I've talked about this in a previous video. You can go ahead and go to download and you can choose a version of Windows that you wanna use and go ahead and do it that way. Honestly, if you go either route, it's gonna be basically the same. The size is gonna be the same. The installation speed is gonna be about the same. So there is no real major difference. For most people, I would definitely suggest going with the creation tool that's directly from Microsoft. It's very easy to do. It walks you through all the steps and there's nothing that you can really screw up with that either. So as we spoke last week, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that before you do this whole process, that either your Windows activation is linked to your Microsoft account or that you know your Windows license key. If you don't know your Windows license key, you can go ahead and grab something called Produ Key. It will grab the Windows license key for you. You can go ahead and copy that, write that down, send it to yourself in an email, what have you, and have that ready for when you're going through the installation process. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you doing it through for Windows 11. Again, you go to the Microsoft page. If you're gonna be doing the USB, you're gonna be doing the Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Go ahead and click Download Now. And we're just gonna be quickly going through this setup. So go ahead and read all this if you want. Click Accept. You can go ahead and choose your edition. Um, if you don't, if you have this checkbox, it's not going to allow you to change this. But if you take it off, you can go ahead and choose a version that you want and the edition, although that's not going to matter. We're going to do USB flash drive. I already have a Windows one. The Windows USBs are always going to be ESD-USB. So I'm just going to rewrite over one that I already have. And that brings up another good point is that if you have one, um, in your drawer that you keep all the time in case you need to use the Windows installation media. I suggest, you know, once a year, maybe every couple of months, redoing this on that drive because it'll have the most up-to-date drivers and updates as part of Windows so that when you go ahead and install it, it's gonna do a way, way less updates. If you have one, like I had one for Windows 10, from when Windows 10 first came out, and when Windows 11 came out, I was still using that same USB and it would take almost a whole day to do updates because it was going from update to update to update to update to update for almost two and a half years. So I highly suggest you refresh it every once in a while. It doesn't really take very long. So you can see we're already at almost 80% uh, while talking about this and it's just a good idea. All right, so it actually took a little bit longer than I expected. Go ahead, grab some food, maybe go have your lunch or your breakfast, come back and it should be done. Once you get to this point, you can go ahead and press finish. And what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna get into your BIOS or get into the boot menu and ensure that you're gonna be booting from the USB and not from your boot drive. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if the computer that you created the installation media with is gonna be the one that you're gonna be reinstalling Windows on, you can go ahead and do a restart or you can go ahead and eject that USB and throw it into another computer, which is what I'm gonna be doing. So once you get into your BIOS, you should be able to do this from both the easy modes and advanced modes. So in advanced mode, you would end up going to boot and depending on your manufacturer, this may be in a different location, but you're gonna go ahead and find your boot options and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your USB, and this is my USB, is the number one option. If I sw switch to easy mode, you can see that there's a boot sequence thing here as well. Some BIOSes will also let you override the boot sequence and boot from a particular place. Um, that would honestly be the best option. This one doesn't allow me to do that though. So I go ahead and I put the USB to be the top in the boot sequence. I go ahead and press save and reset. Once I do that, it should be boot me into the Windows installation. All right, so now once we get here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do next. We're gonna do install now. You're gonna do, I do not have my product key. Um, this is why we went through the process earlier of double checking that either you have a product key or you have it linked to your Windows account. So you're gonna go, I don't have my product key. If you do have your product key, you can go ahead and throw it in there. You're gonna go ahead and choose which operating system you wanna install. I have Windows 11 Pro. You're gonna go to next. You're gonna scroll all the way down, accept. 
next. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do custom. And then you're going to choose your partition and you're going to go ahead and press next and it's going to start installing. I'm not going to do it on here because I don't want to reinstall Windows right now. Um, but that is the process. Once you get through all of that, the first thing I suggest you do is go ahead and start doing updates. If there are any, it's going to start grabbing drivers and stuff for your devices as well. That's the best first step. And that's it. Hopefully this helped you get your Windows fresh install or reset done. Reset, obviously, way easier than the, than the reinstall, but the reinstall is also a great option to do as well. That's typically what I usually rely on. I don't usually do the reset. As I mentioned, I always keep a Windows installation media on me, on my, in my desk at all times, in case I need to install on somebody else's computer, um, fix a computer that I'm having issues with, or what have you. It's always good to have it on hand. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Floss Lime and Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to see what your next step should be, you can go ahead and check out this video right up here, or you can go ahead and check out my computer how-to playlist, which has a bunch of videos, you know, with free software, first steps, things to do when you first get something. Highly suggest it. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Saturday.